Well, good morning. Happy Thursday, <laughs> the 4th of April, yes, <laughs> from Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. I figured I'd start with my mug this time and end with the ship rather than starting with the ship and ending with my mug. So <laughs> I guess I kind of gave it away. We, of course, have a ship in Argo right there. Well, you know, you know what he does. He's got skills. So, enough of this. Let's flip this around. Let's see who we have. All right. So, you see the control arm is up. I actually have a little something to talk about that here in a moment. And we have a ship. You can kind of see part of it there. <laughs> Pretty much a high pool, it's looking like. Looking pretty tall. I think I will go around the other side of this pole here. And this will be in my spot. So Argo has me tangled up. Okay. Woo. It's a little windy out here in just a moment. Okay. I wanted to put my glove back on. <laughs> that wind is chilly. So as you can see, we have the Algoma uh, wow, Algoma Sioux. <laughs> oh, if you hear the buzzer, that means the gate's opening. I'll pan over here. You'll see the flashing light on top of the, the gate. So we have a little bit for me to ramble. We have the Algoma Sioux. I did not look to see where they're headed. I apologize for that. Ooh. They're a little early on the horn there. <laughs> it's okay, they got a pretty good horn. Like I'm rightfully impressed with that. The uh the lines, you see the line there. Still tight, so they've not let her go yet. <laughs> She's not going to be under power. But here I will point over here Ooh, to the control arm building. So I saw an article that over the winter, ooh, I'm trying to remember the exact wording. It may have been the largest metal 3D printed part. Certainly the biggest of this project. I'm not sure of all parts, but, but it was a, a five foot piece. And I think it's, it's what connects the whatever mechanism that moves to the the arm assembly to uh for it to rotate around it looks kind of like like when you think of like a dog bone kind of that basic shape but uh it was made much quicker than traditional methods would be and so that was kind of a an interesting thing i'll see if i can find the article i'll link it down below in the description But I found that to be kind of interesting. So something to remember. That control arm is as wide as the pole lock. So that what we're seeing is, is if you took a footer roughly and flopped it on its side, that's kind of the height you're dealing with there. <laughs> and that'd be terrible for so many reasons, but there we go. I'll pan back over here. We should see that line slack. And maybe they're starting at the other end. So these, these ships have to provide line handlers. And for the, the salties that come in, the pilot 
supplies the line handlers and they'll be here already. You can see it slacking. So there's line handlers that I try to think of the right terminology. They, I guess, tie up the ship <laughs> to those buttons. And I'll, I'll give you a close up one of those here in a second. And then once that's done, the line handlers, and, you know, they might pick up mail or something like that in the lock, here at the lock. Then they scurry on up, back up to the ship. And then when they leave, lock personnel, people that work here, see that's the gentleman that unhooked them. They will unhook the cables and then they can get on their way. And you can see they're on their way. Nice horn on her. I was really impressed with that. So here, here you can see those buttons I was talking about. They look just like that, <laughs> except on the other side of the Pollock. So, okay, well, I guess, just a second. There we go. <sighs> I had to get my hand out, zoom the phone back out and get my glove back on. <laughs> it is like 35 degrees, which of course isn't terrible. But that, that little bit of breeze, yeah, I can kind of feel that. So it's nothing like what we had um, the previous night. <laughs> so it would have been uh, Tuesday night. They recorded gusts down at Rotary Park of 51 miles an hour. And there was uh, a few damaged trees around, as you can imagine. No, no surprise there. That's going to do it for now. I'm going to continue on this walk and then get on with the day. Ooh, yep, downwind of the Algoma Sioux. I can, I can smell her. <laughs> well, I had to look, okay. I had to look and see if there was another ship coming. <laughs> I'm slowly getting back in the swing of it. <laughs> there is it. So that's going to do it. Have a good one. Argo and I, we will be back. Won't we, dog? Hey, did it again.